The sun is sinking in the west The cattle go down to the stream The red wing settles in her nest It's time for a cowboy to dream we're celebrating 20 years of equestrian riding with the National Ability Center. It's an event to show the community and how much they've supported us over the past 20 years and to show what our riders can accomplish through the um, riding of a horse. We chose five riders tonight. Um, the first one's name was Sarah Barber and uh, she actually participates in hippotherapy, which is one of the many programs we offer here. What is, she's gained from riding is her core strength and her ability to walk better. It's uh, performed by an occupational therapist, physical therapist, speech and language, pa language pathologist, um, and it's actually OT on a horse. They don't learn to ride the horse. So we wanted to make sure we highlighted that, and Sarah's a rock star. Then another one of our participants is Nick Burton and Anna Lilliquist. Anna's been riding with the program for 16 years and started as a four-year-old. And she and Nix are doing a little routine, kind of a tandem riding, side-by-side uh, -side riding. Which is hard. They had to learn a lot about communication and teamwork, and so it was very big for them to be able to do that together. Way to go, Nick! Oh. Way to go, Anna! Okay. And then we also have James O'Neill, an adult with cerebral palsy. James has been riding with us for a really long time, and he's riding our biggest horse. And uh, he did a dressage pattern, which basically is a predetermined pattern that's very precise. It's just trying to remember the sequence of everything. And sometimes, like, the banner was new, and he, the horse gets spooked, but today he didn't. And James also says when he rides belly, he forgets that he has a disability. And that's what a lot of the kids gain from this, is they're equal to their other peers. Thank you, James. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Sarah. The last rider was Zach Brumfman. He's been riding with us since 2001, and he also did a dressage test. Um, again, just very precise movements, walk, trot, canter, perfect turns, perfect circles. Um, he did a fabulous job, and he actually rides here three times a week. The equestrian program it just helps so many people, touches so many lives, and it's just, it's a phenomenal thing. Donors are fabulous and they've done so much for us. Um, not only do we have a gorgeous facility, but we continually um, need that to help, help provide our lessons because the fees that we charge for students are so minimal so that they can ride. So many people have other, other doctor bills and things they need to pay for. Um, we want to make sure recreation and riding is also a possibility for them. So it's, it's crucial to have donors, great donors that we do have who can help us out. So partner, this horse that you're leaving here, the one you say is bad to the bone before it's sold to some bidder, you may reconsider because well, maybe the fault is your own. And if you can't get the desired results that you want, well, do something more than complain. Take a deep look inside or maybe swallow your pride because it's you that's holding the reins.